Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about supercapacitors and the applications of them. I also show you how to test the real capacity of any supercapacitor. Here I have this supercapacitor bank. I bought it from China for about 40 bucks. This capacitor bank consists of 6 500 farad capacitor connected together in series. The capacitors are 2.7 volt so the total voltage of the bank will be 16.2 volt. But the total capacitance because they are connected together in series, the 500 farad divided by 6 equal to 83.3 farad. You can use the supercapacitor in following applications. The application number 1, you can use them in spot welding. For welding, for example, the lithium ion batteries. The application number two, using them in combination with UPS or solar inverter batteries. To increasing the lifespan of the batteries due to running inductive load with high surge current. The application number three is cranking the car with dead battery. No, I show you who to test the real capacity of any supercapacitor. One farad capacitor is a capacitor that if you discharge it with current of one amp, the voltage of it dropping one volt after one second. So we comes with this formula. I discharge this supercapacitor bank from 11 volts to 10 volts by one amp constant current to see how long it takes to dropping voltage by 1 volt. As you can see, it takes 59 seconds. If you use this formula, you will find that the total real capacity will be about 59 farad. I repeat this testing, but this time I discharge the supercapacitor from 14 volt to 2 volts. This time it takes 11 minutes and 41 seconds. I use this formula again and as you can see the result as before is around 59 farad. The second test is testing the amp hour of this supercapacitor bank. I use these devices to measure the amp hour. First, I charge my supercapacitor bank to 15 volts. Here I used a boost converter to convert the supercapacitor voltage to a stable 12.8 volt. So we can use all the energy stored in the capacitors. I connect a 12 volt 6 watt lamp as a load in the output. After about 14 minutes, the voltage of supercapacitor become very low and the boost converter stop working. As you can see, this supercapacitor is only 0.1 amp hour. Take into consideration that the boost converter was 20% of the energy. So the total will be 120 milliamp hour only. 
This is why you can't replace a battery with a supercapacitor. Here I discharge the supercapacitor by one amp constant current and the oscilloscope drying the discharge curve. As you can see, the discharge curve is linear in compared to the battery discharge curve, which is nonlinear. The protection board of supercapacitor prevent charging of each capacitor more than 2.7 volt. By clipping the excessive voltage using a shunt resistor, and finally, if you want to connect this supercapacitor bank to your battery of UPS or inverter, you should make sure that the voltage of the supercapacitor bank is equal to the voltage of your battery. Otherwise, a huge amount of current delivered from the battery to the supercapacitor or from supercapacitor to the battery and that can be dangerous. Thanks for watching.